Hello geospatial analysis students. Today we uh, have a video here that will help you with uh, Intro to Basics Day 3. So you'd be, you should be logged into your account and click on map. This will be a new map. First we're going to save it. And we're going to call this one Earthquakes. with your name after that. I'll just show my initials. And then your class period. Enter some tags. Maybe just one is fine. Just use your school initials. And then save the map. Okay, so now we will add earthquake data to this map by going to add and search for layers. Change it from my content to ArcGIS Online and search for global earthquakes. It's the first one at the top. Add the global earthquakes. Collapse the search column and then change it to content so that you can see in the table of contents that you have your global uh, global earthquakes layers added. Now we're going to change symbology. So we will click on the yellow circle, red box, blue triangle, change style. We're going to add two attributes for these earthquakes. We want to show their depth and we want to add another attribute and we're going to show the magnitude the energy released then we will click on options for colors and size and where it says counts and amounts color with the purple dots we're going to change that On the right side, where you see change symbols, we're going to choose fill and we're going to look for red. So far, that's the only red I see that I like. Oh, there it is. I want the one with darker red at the top and pink at the bottom. And OK. If you ever weren't able to find the color ramp, let's say it's upside down, you can always invert it by clicking invert color ramp. But we want to show that the deepest earthquakes, you can see this is for depth, we want the deepest earthquakes to be the dark red and we want the shallower earthquakes like in the mid-ocean ridge here to be pink. Hit OK. Now we're going to click done again and we're going to color and size and this time it's going to be for the magnitude. See this says magnitude right here. So you click options and for this one we're going to change the values. We're going to change one of the values change this to 4. The minimum size, change minimum point size to 4. Leave maximum point size at 50. Click OK and then done. OK and done again. Alright and now what you see are the colors representing the depth of the earthquakes and the circle size representing the magnitude. So right over here near Bolivia, you see you have an earthquake that's both large and deep. Okay. Now we're going to change base map. Find the base map icon with the four squares. And we're going to change it to the dark gray canvas so that we can see those pale colors.
This is a year's worth of earthquakes, just one year. It's a lot of a lot of earthquakes. There are thousands of earthquakes a year. Save your map. Now we have way more data here than we need and most earthquakes aren't felt. So we have a lot of noise. So we're going to choose only a portion of this data to show. So we're going to use the filtering tool to do this. Go to the filter over here. It looks like a yellow piece of paper with a funnel on it. Click filter and we're going to change the first option to magnitude. We'll change the middle option to is greater than. And in this last field, we're going to enter four, a magnitude of four. This is when earthquakes start to be really noticeable. And then just apply the filter, left side. So there are fewer earthquakes now, everything greater than four. But it's still too many, so we're going to click that button again. Click filter. edit, and this time change it to a 6. Change the third value to a 6 and apply it. And that dramatically reduces the number of earthquakes because there are many more small earthquakes than there are big ones. Okay, now we're going to add another layer search for layers, ArcGIS Online, this time search for world cities. We're going to choose the second one down with the red dots, world cities, add to map. There are a lot of them. And some of them look like earthquakes because they're colored red. So let's uncheck the earthquakes. Go back, close the searching pane. And you have world cities here and global earthquakes. Let's uncheck the earthquakes. And now we have just the cities. OK, so now we're going to symbolize the cities. By population, counts and amount size, maybe change the symbol, Now we'll filter this. Oops, I'm in the wrong layer. Need to be in the world cities. Make sure you're working in the right layer. So for world cities, I want to change this to population is greater than five hundred thousand. Apply. All right, so we've now, if we turn on the earthquakes, it's not as cluttered. We can also reorder them if you want to, put the earthquakes on top of the cities really depends on what you're interested in showing. Okay, so there you go. You've learned how to filter data. Now we're going to remove the filters for both. Click the filter button for global earthquakes and just choose remove filter. For world cities, click on the filter item again. 
remove filter. And I'm now going to change the world cities to simply show location. And it looks like this. So your map should now look like the one in the document. Okay.